going to look at finding the area of irregular polygons. So these are shapes that look like this, where it's not a quadrilateral, it's not a triangle, it's not a hexagon, that it's some conglomerate of shapes, but we don't have a formula for the area of just this whole shape. So what we'll have to do is either look at the shape as a whole and what's been taken out, or look at how we can divide that up into shapes we do know the area of. So this one, what's probably the most obvious to do is to continue this line down so that we have a rectangle and here. This is a rectangle and a triangle, okay? We know the areas of each of these. So if we find the area of my rectangle, the area of this triangle, we can add those areas together and that would give us the area of this entire shape. So writing down my formulas, area of this rectangle would be base times height, area of this triangle is one half base times height. So looking at my rectangle, my base is eight, my height is five. So the area of this rectangle would be 8 times 5, which is 40. All of my units are centimeters, so it's 40 centimeters squared. So I always write the number inside that shape so I know I found that one. So now going to this triangle, I need its base and its height. So I need one of the sides of that triangle and the height that's perpendicular to it. So I want to use these. Okay, so I can say that the 4 is my base because that's one of the sides of the triangle. So I have 1 half times the base of 4 times its height. Well, they only told me that this part was 2. What's this part? You have to go all the way over here. It's this same distance. So that means this little part is 5 centimeters which means this whole height would be 7, the 2 plus the 5. So putting the 7 in, I have 1 half times 4 times 7. That gives me 2 times 7 is 14 centimeters squared. So the area of my triangle is 14. But again, I want to find the entire area. So I have to add the 40 plus the 14. So the area would be 14. 40 plus 14, which would give you 54 square centimeters for the area of the entire shape. Now, I want you to try this one. There's actually two different ways to work it. So try this, then go ahead and press play, and I'll show you how I would work it. There's a second way in the book. All right, so let's check. I always look for how I can divide up a shape. In your book, they go by finding the area of this entire rectangle and then taking out the area of this triangle. So if you worked it that way, go ahead and check your book. I would do this by drawing in a little line here. So I have a rectangle and I have a trapezoid. So writing down my formulas, for my rectangle, the area is base times height. For the trapezoid, it's one-half times the height times the sum of the bases. Okay, so let's look at this for a second. My rectangle, I need a base and the height. This whole side is 27. I don't need all of that in my rectangle. My rectangle is only going to here. So for my base, I need to go up here and use the 15 because this part would be 15, okay? So my area for my rectangle will be 15 times 12, which is 180. And we are using feet, so it's 180 square feet. So again, I'm gonna put this in here so I know I found that area. Now, going to my trapezoid, I need 
the height between the parallel sides. Well, that would be this side. So now we have to go back to the 27. This is part of the 27. Here we took out 15 from this 27, so that leaves this part to be 12 feet, because the 15 plus the 12 would give me the 27. So that means the height of my trapezoid is 12, and then looking for my bases, the two parallel sides, well, one of them is 12, but this one, this is 9. This whole thing was 12, which means transferring that over here, all of this would be 12. Okay? Let me change colors here. So all of this is 12. So taking out the 9 leaves this part to be 3. So, going back to my trapezoid formula, the bases are going to be this 3 and this 12. So, I need to add those together. 1 half times 12 times 15. 1 half times 12 is 6. 6 times 15 is 90. So, the area of this trapezoid is 90 square feet. So for the entire area, I would need to take 180 plus the 90, and I get 270 square feet for the area of the entire shape.